Yeah, let's make the color of our unique, wonderful, handmade sketchbooks. That's the day where I'm going to show you everything about how to do the cover. And I am really excited to do this tutorial because I know that you expected it quite a lot. And I am also really excited because I'm going to make a cover for my India sketchbook. I'm going to guide you in every step to show you how I do it and to teach you how to make a cover for a journal or sketchbook, even a monster like this one. So I am making a cover for an already filled sketchbook, but of course this tutorial can be used to make a cover for your brand new just bound sketchbook or journal. And by the way, if you are new here or if you didn't come upon them, I have other tutorials about making the inside of the journal of course. So feel free to check the links here on the description box below. I also made a playlist with all the tutorials so that you can make your own journal from start to finish. Happy watching! and happy creating your own journal! To create a hardcover for your journal you will need some cardboard that you can use if you can find some, some kind of calendar cardboard usually really thick and really nice for this kind of use but you also of course can buy this kind of raw cardboard to make your cover We will also need some tape and a ruler and a blade and then some things to decorate your journals to make the cover beautiful so I have quite a lot of things left uh, from my uh, traveling in India newspaper book uh, pages this was a bag with some uh, lace thing and I decided to tear it apart uh, to keep uh, this part so I could use this uh, on my uh, cover too I have some things to write down some uh, letters on the cover too Hindi letters of course pieces of maps uh, leaflets uh, everything so I will uh, try to make a nice uh, cover and I also bought uh, this uh, wonderful lovely paper in India in a shop in uh, Delhi. I will probably maybe tear a few pieces to get a bit of color on my sketchbook too and having this uh, wonderful uh, texture on the sketchbook. Haha, <laughs> I already made a mess! And by the way, I bound the whole journal with the technique I showed you in the other videos using a kind of metal golden thread I bought in India, so I think it's a lovely touch too to use special things from the country. So this is going to be hidden while I will have made a cover, but the inside is going to show of course. Picking my piece of cardboard and then I'm going to cut uh, three pieces of cardboard one for the front, one for the back and one for the... I think I know this well for the spine, in fact my dictionary didn't find it so I just remembered <laughs> So, one piece for the front, one piece for the back, one piece for the spine. For the front and the back of the cover, you want a piece of cardboard which is going to start just uh, in here and which is going to be just slightly longer than the pages but not too much. For me, 20 centimeters would be too much. So I uh, should do something like uh, 19 and uh, 6, I would say, or even uh, 19 and a half could be okay. So maybe I would need a piece of paper to take a few notes. So of course you can do the measuring for your own uh, journal. My uh, cover would be 19 and a half centimeters wide. I'm sorry, I am using uh, centimeters. And for the height, you want uh, uh, slightly more than uh, the measure of your page. So the page are 28 for me, but if I want, you know, just slightly more, uh, probably for me 28.3. For your own measuring, just add a slightly bit to the page, not more than two millimeters. I don't know how I can say that in inches, so sorry, but uh, don't uh, make the cover too big regarding to your sketchbook except if your cardboard is really really thick but if not it's 
you know, it can damage a bit uh, if it's too big regarding to the size of the pages. So my whole cover is going to be 28.3 centimeters high. So I make several same measurements. Always do at least uh, three in the case uh, one is uh, wrong. And then just record the whole height of the sketchbook. If you are not 100% sure about it, you can still put the sketchbook on your cardboard and see how goes the height regarding to the sketchbook itself. So I have a few pages higher and you know because I am tearing the paper and everything. But I think maybe my cover is just slightly tight so I am going to add uh, probably just one millimeter and it will be all good. Slightly higher. But don't freak out, uh, it can be okay just a bit uh, bigger. Even if it's slightly too small it's not uh, such a big deal. And so will my measuring for the width uh, will be good? So I'm going to try this 19.5 measuring and see how it goes yeah it seems all good to me you have to imagine that uh, for the width it's going to be a bit longer to this side of the sketchbook but uh, not in here so don't uh, get too big I know it could seem logical to make uh, the spine just right now in the middle of the other piece but uh, anyway we are going to cut them so I am used to make uh, the front and the back in the row so that I am good with them. So I have a front, a back. And now, tricky measure for the spine. For the spine, you really don't want a too big piece of cardboard. So slightly smaller than the width of your sketchbook. Take the measure between a bit of the middle of the first signature and the middle of the last signature. So in here, for me, I think three can be enough. And uh, see where we are going to attach uh, the cover with a bit of space between the different pieces. Why I recommend it to make it a bit smaller. I can always make it even smaller while I'm going to work with the pieces. If I figure out it's not the right uh, width, if it's too small I have to cut a new one and if it's too big I can just uh, trim a little piece. So I say three centimeters wide. And now just uh, cut it uh, with a blade, of course putting something underneath so that you don't uh, damage your table. My advice to cut some uh, thick cardboard with a blade is not push too hard at first, just start by making a line with your blade to create a little crease that is going to guide your blade afterwards. Start with a light uh, touch and then you will go harder, maybe after two or three passes. And that way you have uh, less chances to mess up and that your blade is going to be anywhere and you know, your cardboard is not uh, cutting the right way. And then once you have your little crease, you could almost uh, cut it uh, that way without uh, any ruler. Still uh, be careful not to rip out. You can keep the ruler or not depending on uh, what you prefer. If you push really hard, keep the ruler. If you push just harder but not too much, you can remove it. I will not show you the cover of the Indian sketchbook at the beginning of the video so that you can have a surprise at the end. I'm going to have the surprise too, I don't know yet how it's going to look like. That's what is so wonderful with creativity, that's because everything is always a surprise. I usually do the things uh, that way, just cutting the whole thing and you have this uh, long line that uh, it's easier to cut it uh, uh, like that and then afterwards separating uh, the three pieces. Here we are our 
three pieces all together to make the cover. So feel free to take uh, your sketchbook and to try once again the cardboard on it just to see how it goes when you put it uh, on your pages. You know, it's just uh, slightly bigger but not too much. And for the back, yeah, smaller than the width. I think it's going to be good. In order to create our cover with the three pieces of cardboard, we are going to tape them together using the tape a bit like a fabric to make a join. So we are starting by the inside of the sketchbook and you don't want to tape the three pieces really tight like that because I will show you later which kind of problem you could have, but rather just keeping a little gap on the cover. In fact, your gap should have around uh, the thickness of uh, your cardboard. So it can be really, really small, but it's uh, important. So for me, that's around uh, one millimeter or so. So I'm just going to follow the light, follow the light. Then I tape it trying not to move the pieces underneath so just with a light touch so you check if your other side didn't move too much and then I tend to cut my <laughs> tape with my mouth my mouth is a bit of my uh, third hand and so the other side. Here it is. This is the uh, inside of uh, your binding. You can try it on your sketchbook if you like, just to see how it goes. And the reason why you don't want to tape the pieces too tight, if, if you do this, your cover is going to be stuck that way and you won't be able to open your sketchbook like that. So that's why it's important. One of my pro tips, I guess. And the other side, so the outside of the sketchbook, has a bit of a special taping, but first we have to trim the tape. I don't really fold it, but in the case you want to fold it, you have to put a, some scissors cut that way. If not, you will have some trouble with your cover. But I usually trim these. I am dressed with the sunlight today. <laughs> I look like a fairy. So, the other side of the cover is a bit uh, special. So, once again, pick a piece of tape, always bigger than you think. <laughs> and then start taping it only on the spine, so only on one side. You tape it, and it's not taped yet the other side. You know how to handle with a shadow. Yeah, it will be better that way. And then the idea is to tape it first in this little edge of the cardboard in here. So using your nail. I'm going to try to show you even better. See, you want your tape to go in this little crease, so using your nail along this uh, edge and then along the other edge of the cardboard in here. And after that, it can go on your back or on your front, but you have the tape in the little crease like that, creating a sort of corner. Let me show you with a sketch. This is a piece of cardboard for example for the front and this is your spine and this is the other side. When we tape it for the inside the tape is going to be like that and the same the other 
outside but when we make the outside of the cover and I encourage you to do it uh, while the cover is folded you want your tape to be on the spine and then to go a bit uh, along the edge of the cardboard and along the other edge and then in the spine like that and what is created in once uh, your cover is flat again and you are that way again your tape is not going to be the same as here but it's going to go in the crease like way and it will be the same the other side so that's what you try to achieve with your tape so you do so <laughs> so you can see i am going to put my hat <laughs> So you can see that when you put your cover flat again, there is some tape in the little crease. That's really important. Then you can do the other side the same way. So cutting a long piece of tape, taping it only to one side, the side of the spine. I'm going to turn it around once again so that you can see a bit better. And then folding it. You can even pick your sketchbook and putting it on the sketchbook while you are working with your tape. With your nail you bring the tape in the little crease following the edge of one of the spine cardboard, then the edge of the front or the back cardboard and then you can put it flat again then you can fold your tape or trim it and that's it you have uh, your cover for your sketchbook and then you will have to decorate it and to attach it uh, to the sketchbook i will do that tomorrow see you with another light let's keep going with our tutorial with another light and now that's the fun part because we are going to try to make a lovely cover for the sketchbook you could if you like attach uh, the sketchbook to the cover first but it's easier to decorate it while it's still flat like that so that's what I am going to try to do especially working for the outside of the cover I usually don't uh, overthink too much about the inside I can just paste a few things but uh, you know I want to keep it uh, rather simple and so I'm going to use probably a bit of uh, this kind of Mod Podge thing, especially for the news paper. And I picked a piece of a magazine so that I can have a surface to glue on. Magazine or phone book or everything is really nice because you can just uh, turn the page and having a just nice page uh, without any glue so that uh, your thing doesn't get uh, too sticky. So the important thing when I'm going to glue something on the cover, for example flat like that on the spine, I definitely don't want to forget that I need always this little crease in uh, the spine to be able to use the cover the right way. So if you glue something in here you will have to put it in the crease before making it uh, keep going on the cover. Maybe I can show you that uh, right away. I was thinking by just starting with pieces of uh, newspaper. There is a big writing in here. I don't know what it means but whatever. Trying to find some pieces without you know this is nice because there is uh, no photo just a lovely tree writing and uh, even if I keep uh, the man's face or something I can still pasting something on it or oh, I don't want uh, Donald Trump on my <laughs> sketchbook this cute little vizier is uh, quite nice and a nice evocation of India too so you know that I like tearing so I are probably going to tear quite a lot of uh, I won't probably be able to use uh, everything I found uh, nice in what is left in my stash but uh, so this can be a fun and it's a colorful piece this is more uh, white and it can get a bit uh, yellowish after a while but that's quite okay I'm going to keep with the tearing 
to bring you along about my thinking about how I organize things on the cover and how I work on it so that it uh, end up quite uh, lovely. So of course the front and the back are going to be different but I usually want sort of continuity between the two so for example I'm not going to put a piece of a newspaper for the front and a map uh, for the back. I think it would be too separated uh, for me so I prefer just uh, having some pieces all along so it can be a bit of newspaper that way and then maybe the map at the top or something like that and um, I think the tree is quite cute so and maybe just uh, putting it at an angle to get the dynamic so it's even better to have the dynamic uh, with a climbing dynamic so better to put your line that way it's more optimistic side than that way so maybe I'm going to try to glue this this will be the front and this will be the back and then I will of course add a few things or maybe I would prefer if I put a piece of map or something I would also like to add the bill or anything and the colorful and the lace and everything too much thing to use oh I have the book pages I really love too and this is a slightly different uh, color so it can be nice to get some different uh, thing this says negotiation so not so appealing endorsement uh, it seems to be a sort of uh, contability or anything so I'm going to tear a few I saw this uh, really damaged uh, book uh, in the street where there are a lot of uh, little sort of shops or maybe some things outside of their shops because Indian people mostly uh, live outside in front of their shops and houses and everything. So I asked uh, the man uh, how it would sell me uh, this because I didn't want to buy a lovely nice book to tear it up. So this one was just without any cover, just bad like that. So I thought it would be nice and the man just uh, gave it to me. So it was has quite a nice attention so maybe I could put some text vertically with this page and this would be more horizontal and I can have the book at the top or the journal at the top yeah the book not overthinking too much <laughs> go a bit that way. It's not going to be perfectly flat or anything but that's okay so now I have to be careful about the spine so putting the paper in the crease that way then the other crease always using my nail to put it inside and finally it's better with the hand like with the brush so here it is. Once again you don't need it to be perfect, it can still have the homemade feeling and even if it's uh, not re-glued really well or if it's a bit uh, some wrinkle like mine or anything, you'll see at the end it will uh, be just uh, fine. I'm going to fold this piece the other side. And in here when I want to fold something I have to make two scissors cut in here so that it's not going to be in the way of the folding of the sketchbook and you fold the pieces separately now book pages so it's going to create a sort of background and then I will add a few things at the top the nice thing if you are using a kind of uh, raw cardboard like that with this plain color uh, that it's uh, you don't have to be afraid about something showing through uh, whereas if you use calendar for example the writing is going to show through uh, your newspaper so you have to paint it or to glue maybe one more layer of paper so that's uh, slightly more annoying so the book Page. So putting it in the crease and in here, folding it the other way. Once again I don't mind that the other side is a bit uh, messy but if you don't uh, like it uh, that way you can still 
cut it, uh, but if you cut the paper when it's a bit wet with the glue, it can bit, uh, create a bit of tearing. And that way you also have the side that is uh, covered. So it's quite wet, but the problem of this kind of uh, glue, even my cardboard is not really laying so flat. I wonder about the map. Should I add some uh, map piece? Oh, sticking with the paper. But I like the map for the sense of uh, traveling too. So this is a daily map. There is a Connaught place in here and we went to the Lakshminarayan... Lakshminarayan Burdala Mandir. It was our first day of uh, workshop. I don't know if the temple I liked so much is Gurudwara is in here. So I definitely want to keep this. So this is the main part of, of the map. <laughs> when the thing is too big you can't really figure out. Indian map! Whoa! But that's for a good cause. I guess my sketchbook is a good cause. We'd like to keep maybe this writing. Oh, Sean Shok was nice. It was a bazaar and Carol bag. So I want to keep this. So I'm going to tear it just in here at the top. Yeah, I think it's starting to be nice with the three kinds of different paper together. Maybe I can tear the India Gate. I guess this video is going to be a bit long with the tutorial and then the more artistic work. I will try to speed up so part and I hope you will like to follow along this. Uh, yeah. Here it is. Even if this is a kind of glue you can put uh, at the top if you like uh, when you are gluing a thing. I usually prefer to put it only underneath so that I can keep the feeling of the paper, raw paper, matte uh, feeling. If you put the glue at the top it's going to be a bit uh, shiny and not maybe the same raw look. So even if it can get a bit dirty just with the paper or everything I prefer uh, to keep it that way. Maybe at uh, the end I will put some glue at the top in here just in order yeah, to glue the paper really well in the inside but keeping the feeling of the paper in the outside. And I will probably put a bit of corner for the cover because it gives a nice look. I'm going to keep working on the other side like that or the other direction. Yeah, I think this would be okay. You can just cut a bit of the excess paper. So be generous with the glue, especially at the edges and don't wait too much before putting it. I want to keep the tearing look mostly, so I forgot to tear the other side. Here it is. Then bigger piece of map. Should I put it upside down? Sometimes I just don't mind putting it upside down. Yeah, I think I like it that way. Even the colorful line is fun. So once again I will be careful with the spine. Putting the paper in the crease. A bit curling. It's uh, no, it's not good. I'm going to put again. Maybe I can put the glue in the crease. And then when you open it flat, you want it folded inside. Yeah, that's it. I may wait a few minutes uh, like that and then I will put uh, some more glue in here to fold the paper the other way. And we went to the Kutub Minar too. <laughs> so much wonderful memory. I'm always a bit like I don't want to make the cover because it's a bit time consuming and messy and everything but it's such a wonderful way once again to make some creative stuff, uh, crafts, uh, collage and to bring back uh, the memory too of course. Oh yeah there was my sort of little vizier. It could be nice on the back of the cover. it to be perfect, you want it to be yours. That's what's important. Mm. 
So this is a bit of the first step of the artistic part of the cover making, which means a bit of uh, covering the whole thing with paper, and then you can uh, play with the smaller things, yeah, the bills or the smaller part of map I uh, kept. I think at the end I'm going to put this because uh, Indian people really like shiny and colorful things, and I uh, still have to figure out if I can use a piece of lace at the top too. Maybe on the spine could be fun because uh, yeah, the spirit in India is not really a minimalistic uh, spirit so I al already like it uh, that way. It could I could just have a title or something and that's it but uh, maybe to have a bit more fun with the traveling spirit and the spirit of India I'm going to add a few more things. As you may be able to tell, I decided to split uh, this uh, monster tutorials in uh, at least uh, two parts. I hope you liked uh, the first uh, part. Feel free to start creating your own cover while I keep uh, working on this uh, tutorial. We will work at uh, refining the design and attaching uh, the inside of the sketchbook to the cover in the next uh, episode. Think about subscribing if you haven't already to be sure not to miss uh, the following of the tutorial. Before then, keep the creativity flowing and see you!